Hey you guys, welcome back to Beauty by CD. So today I'm going to show you how to get this short blonde cut. This is a 27 piece meets closure piece. Um, and these are the items that you'll need. 30 second glue, scissors, spandex cap, this Brazilian Saga um, blowout. The 125, 27 piece in number 613. You're going to take a shower cap with the spandex cap and put it over your mannequin head. Um, I made a marking in a white pencil on where I'm going to put my closure. So I'm using a closure because I want the most height in the middle without the traditional um, circle kind of closure because I wanted it to like duplicate a nice fall any kind of place. This is going to give me maximum movement and you'll see why shortly. So that was the brand that I just used. It's a wig cap spandex um, breathable and I like to use this if I'm doing something quick so I'm gonna take my closure and I'm just gonna sew it all around just to make sure that that sticks first that's the first thing you want to do because this is going to show you how your foundation is going to lead to your other style so I'm using this Saga brand again it's called blowout because it kind of mimics the look of a blowout when your hair is blown um, kind of like a natural you know bob kind of look so first I started here with the black thread but of course it's blonde so you want to make sure you hide as much as possible so I went ahead and I switched off to this brown thread thread does come in all types of colors it does come in blonde um, I didn't have any blonde so I went for the brown one instead which neutralizes against blonde you won't see it all right, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to add my Saga blowout pieces, uh, one in the back, and then I'm going to do the front. This is going to give me my bang that I want, the little swoop over, as you can see here, and the formation of it is starting already, and I'm going to do the same thing in the back. I'm using this blow dryer. It is FHI blow dryer. Um, got that from the hair show, and I'm using this 30-second glue, which lasts a really really long time some people don't like to use it but I've made wigs with this thing and it stays on for a really really long time so that's the back you have to kind of visualize which is what I did I kind of visualized what I wanted to do and um, I knew that the top portion would all be long going down towards the middle kind of like a mohawk thing mohawk and I just went ahead from there. Now I'm adding my 27 pieces. This is traditionally what people use to make short haircuts. Um, it does get the job done, but then oftentimes you have to just buy regular packed hair to get the length that you want because uh, the 27 pieces are shorter than 4 inches or about that. So you're not going to really get those long bangs unless you use pack hair in a you know 10 inch or 8 inch. So instead of doing the traditional packed hair, I went ahead and I used um, the blowout, which gave me the length that I needed. Alright, so you're going to track this all the way up, cover all the black areas, and I, used, I did the glue method all the way up and around in a horseshoe motion until I got to the very, very top, where you're going to see I'm going to change my traction method and just do something else. I'm going to do kind of like an invisible part. This 27 piece meets closure shortcut is um, a little bit different than what you're going to see out there. I've done a couple of things just to kind of get the look that I want to achieve. I want the top long and I want it to have maximum flexibility so you'll see what I do. Um, so now I'm going to take small pieces of this 27 inch and I'm going to track it in the opposite direction, laying sideways to kind of like bridge the gap over here and so that I can have it, you know, just um, when I part it and I comb it over, I want it to be able to go over to the side without um, any hardness. So this is going to help me get that done. And yes, I'm using glue. It's black. You can cover this all up or just be very, very, you know, careful about how you put it. Some will get on there. But you want to minimize how much glue you get on your blonde, of course. And I'm going to show you how I covered mine up in a little while. 
Um, so again, I'm just taking these pieces and doing like a 20, I'm doing like an invisible part method where I'm stacking them very, very close to each other so that I get a nice tight um, layover. All right, so this is pretty much done. So all of the heaviness is on the top and in the front. So I'm gonna use this Walker's glue. Um, this is lace glue. And I got this method um, from several people actually, but I think I've seen it first with Willa, Willa's World. So I'm gonna be using that. And all I'm doing is making a bridge between that glue where I mess things up. And I'm doing this on both sides. So I'm gonna put the glue down let it get tacky for a little while take the 27 piece or any piece that's blonde cut it and then i'm going to add it down there so it kind of looks like i created um some roots in there that wasn't there before and all i'm doing is kind of camouflaging my line of demarcation um you can do this as many times as possible until all the areas go away and you can also mold this so that way the hair kind of covers over it so it's totally up to you camouflage however you want the hair is going to be you know going in a certain direction so if I see it peeking through just comb it in a different direction so I'm just trying it out to see where I want to go and I'm getting ready to get my cut on because I want to see on myself how it's gonna lay down I'm just using this mini razor to make sure I take off a lot of the bulk and the sides are gonna be tapered because this is where everything is gonna lay down like you would normally do. Make sure you get your ears, um, that area shaped and trimmed and tapered. And you're gonna do the same all around, but you wanna be very careful with these razors. They take off hair pretty quickly, especially if it's a new razor just added. So you wanna make sure you take your time cutting it down. I'm using the mirror, but I'm also turning left and right several times just to verify and make sure where I'm cutting. The back where the closure is, the back, the back top is where I want to make sure I don't take off too much length because again, that's going to be where I go forward or backwards with. I kind of want the back hanging low like a, um, I guess a mohawk kind of feel so that it hangs to the back. Alright, so I've taken it off behind the scenes and I've cut it, recut it on a mannequin head because you want to make sure you have a good cut. I'm using my mirror to see if the back is laying all right. The back has like longer tails because I feel like that works better in most cases. It will hide a lot of your nape hairs if you have a lot of nape hairs in the back where your hair comes down a little lower than most. So I like to wear mine long, but you can cut this as short as you want. I just happen to keep the back long. And now I'm just adding a little bit of product to make, you know, to see how I want to mold it. I'm trying different looks. Um, again, with this look, this shortcut quick weave it gives me a lot of different ways to do it so like today I could do it like this and then I can go ahead and do like that point in the front it's a very edgy kind of short weave um, situation and this is the finished look you guys I did do a makeup tutorial to that but I think it might be overkill if I show that I'm in the studio just checking out the back to see how it's laying. Everything is good. Um, again, so once I molded this, all the black stuff you couldn't see. And this is another look that I did where I did um, a 4th of July look with a red lip and blue and white eyes. So I have worn this a few times. And this is another view of it with a snapchat filter and that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed my tutorial um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel beauty by cd follow me on instagram at beauty by cd i also have a hair page on instagram is frankly weaves thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time